Blessings Under the Bridge, a local nonprofit dedicated to helping others, now needs your help. Rent will soon be tripling at the warehouse and kitchen, where Blessings Under the Bridge makes meals for homeless and low income neighbors every week. The nonprofit has used the 8,000 square foot space for its headquarters for the past four years, but with a spike in rent, they say they can't afford to stay. New on Nightside, KXY4's Annie Bishop is live on the Sky Deck with more. Annie? And Blessings Under the Bridge has until May 1st to find a new place for its headquarters. This organization has certainly had its fair of challenges over the last couple years, but the founder says she is not giving up this time. The rolls are loaded and soon the shepherd pies will follow. Tomorrow this truck is headed downtown near I-90 where Blessings Under the Bridge will feed a gourmet St. Patty's Day meal to 300 homeless men and women. All the food made right here in a custom kitchen at its headquarters off Sprague. And so we've been here four years now, going on four years, and this is like our home. I mean, we've really made it our own. Jessica Kovacs started Blessings Under the Bridge 10 years ago, passing out brown bag lunches from her car. Now the nonprofit operates out of this 8,000 square foot building. It's um, really been really beneficial on so many levels. We can, can take more because we have the space. So we've really just blossomed here. Rent, however, is going up from $1,200 a month to $3,300 a month. We just said, oh my gosh, we, that would be ridiculous to pay that kind of money. We're not, um, we don't have that kind of money. If someone was able to, we would put that money into another building that is a lot more efficient. A local real estate company has covered rent for the nonprofit for the past three years. For that, they are thankful. Kovac says even if they could afford to stay, it would be tough to do so. That's, that is a huge, huge chunk of money for us. It, that's a lot. We could feed a lot of people and serve a lot of people, or we could embrace more help. So Kovac is looking for a new home. She's faced obstacles before. Faith always finds a way to overcome. I think, I think we'll be okay, but it's still scary. And the ideal space for Blessings on the Bridge, about 5,000 square feet. And it has to have a setup for a um, commercial walk-in freezer and refrigerator that they already have. And also the ability uh, to renovate and add a, a commercial kitchen to make those meals. Now to help with these fundraising efforts, uh, they've set up a, a page, a GoFundMe page. We put all that information on our website at KXLY.com. Reporting live tonight, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 News.